Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a hidden menu similar to the one displayed on this website. So this website has a side navigation. On click it exposes the menu and when you close it returns it back to its original state. This is what we're going to create in Aksha. So fire up your Aksha and let's get started. Firstly, we want to create the containers. So I'll drag over a box and define size as 1280 by 720. Drag it to the corner on margins 0, 0. I want to add a logo. So I'll drag in heading 1. Then I need a little short description. and a call to action to scroll down. So Alt, duplicate, and then scroll down. And align, and change that size to 16, and this size to about 36. Drag that closer, and drag both of these closer to the bottom. For the menu icon, I have my own library from Font Awesome. And I'll just drag and drop it to the side in the middle, and that's our original state. For our second state, let me zoom out by Command minus. I will duplicate this container, Alt, drag. Then I'll have the logo, and I'll also have the menu links. In this case, I'll have a home about us, services, and a contact us. What we need is a close button, similar to where the menu button is. And align it middle. Now make this lighter by removing the bold. Now the next step is to make sure that this layer with all its contents can be converted into a dynamic panel. So drag and select it, right click and convert to dynamic panel. Name this panel menu and then go over to where you have your menu icon, select it. Under the inspector, select properties and say on click I want to show the menu dynamic panel and I'm gonna animate it with the fade and then say OK you have to do the same for the X to make sure that when someone clicks on it it takes us back to the original state so double click on your dynamic panel select the state 1 and then select your close button and then on click we want to hide the menu so under visibility would select hide and we would fade it out and say ok double click on your home page and this next part is one of the most important parts. So you right click on your dynamic panel and set it to hidden. Then move it over our first panel. Once you've done that, now we can preview the site. And when you click on the menu, our menu panel comes up. And when you click on the close button, our original state is restored. And that is how you would create a hidden menu.